to Mombasa, where the ambitious urban renewal program has met fresh opposition. Mombasa Senator Hassan Omar has criticized the governor for the project, claiming it is a scandal in the making. KTN's course reporter Francis Ontoma now, now reports. This ambitious multi-billion housing project said to be launched by the county government of Mombasa is the nucleus of the latest storm now providing fodder for political battles. After a grueling and trying moment with security chiefs in the country, it is a French thunderstorm for Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho. You cannot just on mere account that the, those assets are dilapidated become the basis for you to sell them. Because what they are doing is to put them into private hands and to deny us a constitutional obligation to, to current and, and future governments to realize that issue of right to housing. Public, the meaning of housing within the constitution, which is the responsibility of county governments, is public housing. It is not now for the county government to become a private developer starting to sell houses uh, in the manner that they have suggested. Senator Hassan Omar Hassan has poured vitriol on the ambitious scheme, claiming proper consultations are not undertaken. The governor runs away from a rally in Malindi just because I attended. You can be sure that they, he cannot consult you on even a substantive matter of this nature. And if they had consulted me, I'll have given them my view about it. The massive urban renewal program targets the old and dilapidated former municipal council houses the first phase of the project is said to introduce some 30,000 housing units at a cost of a whopping 200 billion shillings. Governor Joho has been crisscrossing the county to sell the concept. Jamaa wanapigia kelele. Ati nyumba zisiguswe. Taka kuwakumbusha ndogizangu mulioko katika estate za municipal council. Nyinyi ni wachache ambao muna hizo nyumba. Wengi hawana hizo nyumba. Wanakaa katika moroto. An increasing demand for housing in Mombasa is proving a huge headache to authorities, with the current population standing at 1.3 million and said to go higher. We are not evicting everyone, and I want that to be in caps, bold, and in red. No one is getting evicted. What we are doing is giving those same people the first opportunity to turn them from being tenants into being house owners. This whole thing called privatization is a way of selling state assets. This was done in Russia and all the properties of Russia were sold to the mafia through the same thing that you are seeing here, so-called private-public partnership. This thing must be done the proper way. There is a legal framework for doing this thing. Don't play games with the people of Mombasa. But the truth of the matter is, ni land grabbing. Hawano uhakika, kuna mambo wakona hidden agenda. Wanataka kubenefit matajiri wenyeo hapa. Alafu sisi ambao nuwakazi wapa miaka, tutoke ki holela holela. Na zitajengwa. Zitajengwa, my friend. Mtu hota na epinga. Let me assure you, leo, nkesho, nkesho kutwa, pinga, lakini zitajengwa. Kwa uwezo mwenye zi mungu zitajengwa. Some of Mombasa's key estates are characterized by ruined and old structures, some of which have been declared inhabitable, and they include Hadija, Mirichini, Changamwe, Chuda and Mzizima. Other estates include Likoni, Nyerere, Tomboya, Kachonjo and Kizingo. For a city ranked among the fastest growing in the continent, there is growing pressure for authorities to find rational and lasting housing solutions. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Mombasa.